I haven't been to church in a very, very long time. No, me. But I do listen to the online service. We have an online service. Take the time to dig deep under. And today we had um, a guest speaker. His name is Tim Ross, Pastor Tim Ross. Actually, before he started his own church, he was um, a pastor at our church. This red heat, we could really meet. And today he was preaching about the story of Gideon. I, th I believe it's in Judges 6. Uh, but he was talking about Gideon and uh, relating to how we sometimes look at ourselves and undermine ourselves. We think of ourselves as being small, as being weak. And so his encouragement to us was for us not to look at our weaknesses, but to understand that God uses the weak things. God told Paul that my grace is sufficient in your weaknesses so sometimes when we look at ourselves we may think of ourselves as being weak as being nothing but it's important for us to understand that we are god's workmanship and that god can use us even when we are at our weak layers it's time to lose these naysayers we're better off the air will be richer and everything so much easier we don't need to work so hard we don't need to act strong it's been too long one of the things that i've always done is to go to church ever since i was a child I've been somebody that goes to church and when I got uh, born again to me church wasn't just a matter of just going to church uh, it didn't matter whether I went to a small church or a big church I've always found a way to be involved so that I can instead of just being somebody that just goes and sits and listens to, to the sermon and then get out I've always looked for a way to serve in church but ever since I moved to Texas, I haven't been able to do that. I go to a big church, but I haven't even had the opportunity to serve in any way, just because of my work. And right now, because I work the weekend schedule, I haven't been in church really for a very long time. And I don't feel good about that, especially when it comes to my girls, because um, you set an example for those little ones. They know. And so uh, sometimes they are like, are we going to church? And uh, it's hard to explain that, no, we are not going to church. But I have to figure out a way of um, making sure that they know that it's, it's important to go to church. And as I said, not just to go to church, but to be involved in one way or another in serving other people in being part of the church because to me that's what it's all about uh, not just listening to the sermon but also uh, being part of the community whereby you can be able to help one another build one another up so that's something that is really on my heart because um, not only for myself but for my family for for those young girls i want them to know the importance of of fellowshipping and um, and uniting with other brethren so it's something I need to figure out how to to be able to overcome and make sure that we go to church love is lovely when it starts come with an open heart and give romance a chance and get to know me just for my me. first trip is gonna be what we call a double dip and what that means is when you go to make a delivery at a customer, you also make a pickup. Those are really nice because you drop and hook and then you come back. So I'm going to go pick up from Amazon. I mean, drop at Amazon and also pick up at Amazon. 
and the cool thing about it i even don't have to go to the rail because my first load is from here so i'm just gonna hook to it go to amazon do a drop and hook come back don't bail out and leave a problem this load right here is supposed to deliver after 1900 actually at 1900 right now it's 1600 and so this guys looks like it's full and so they are saying they won't take the load until after 1900 so I'm getting in touch with dispatch to see what they want me to do I'm thinking they're going to ask me to take it to the Dallas yard drop it and probably just come back for uh, for my pick up so let me see what they want me to do i wonder where this water comes from because i thought it was from the rain but we haven't had rain for some time so i wouldn't have expected it to be that much water I love drinking hot tea. I love it when a customer provides uh, a microwave for us drivers to use. This so load has been crazy. So I still have the same load, but I'm at a different location, Amazon location. Um, I, have, I was at that place. I got there at 3.44. And I left at 5.30 because uh, dispatch was trying to figure out how to have them take the load. And so eventually they ended up accepting it. But because they didn't have space that side, I had to bring it here. So I'm at this location. I'm here to drop it off. I already have three plans, uh, three pre-plans on me. Uh, the good thing about that, uh, the other location is about a uh, little under three miles away but i will get paid for bringing this load here as if it's another load so uh, i don't have that pickup i was supposed to do from there i'm just gonna do some other loads and they're gonna pay me this as a load of course plus detention so we don't need to act strong let's see if they have any empties here if not i have to go look for an empty for my pickup but they don't have any empties here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go i think to Lowe's and see if they have any empties from there if i get one i'll go to walmart do a pickup that goes to wiley and then i have a pickup from wiley that goes to walmart in sanga and then from there i will go to denton for another pickup that goes back to the yard and i will call it a night or a day yes, love is love. 